What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is another installment of my series that I do sometimes and this is blank guesses booktube words but today we're changing it up and I asked a few booktubers over zoom to guess booktube trivia using Kahoot. I had a lot of fun doing this. I It was really last minute, um, so if you didn't get to participate, I did post it on Twitter, but if you would like a live version, let me know in the comments and I will set something up. A big thank you to everyone that helped me with this and participated. I will have everyone's social media and channels linked down below in my description. Feel free to play in the comments. If I do it live, I will have a different Kahoot game up, so it won't be any of these answers but do let me know what your score would be. Thank you for watching, let's get started. Family and Friends Edition. Right. What does the acronym ARC stand for? Is it Advanced Released Copy, Advanced Reader's Copy, Advanced Ready Copy, or all of the above? We can do this. Okay. Gotcha. The acronym ARC stands for Advanced Reader's Copy. You might hear this also referred to as a galley or a review copy. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yay. The next question is, which is not a book tag? For this, I'm referring to a book challenge over a book tag. Is it flip the page, birthstone, rapid fire, or playlist slash shuffle? Which is not a book tag? Oh okay. no. Oh. <laughs> The correct answer is Flip the Page, a book challenge created by Jesse the Reader. Oh my gosh, I always... Oh my gosh, I got it wrong. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's so annoying. Dang. What does the term street team entail? Is it someone who sells books on the street? A group of readers who promote an author's book for marketing, the name of a booktube group, or none of the above. Hell. Oh. The correct answer is a group of readers who promote an author's book for marketing. You'll usually see it on social media. There will be street teams for specific authors and their new releases. Joy is on the lead. <laughs> the street it's, is it's, it's sad. <laughs> Next is a booktube term to define, and this is buddy read. Is a buddy read reading two books at once, a marketing campaign for authors, reading a book with a friend, or a publisher's imprint? Next, what is a buddy read? Okay, mm. all right, let's see. <laughs> Julia is in the lead with four credits. <laughs> No, I actually knew one. Dog ear. Next is another booktube term to define, and this is dog ear. Does dog ear mean folding the page of a book, reading books about dogs, reading a book to your dog or any pet, or none of the above? The correct answer is folding the page of a book that is dog earing. Dog ear. Something that I do. <laughs> Why not all at once? <laughs> all at once. <laughs> all at once. Okay, so like I was, I forgot to say, it's going from easy to hard. Yeah, so, but I, I, this is going to end badly for me. <laughs> True or false, BookCon is a type of book convention held in New York City. The correct answer is true. It is held in New York City. That is the primary location. It has been in Chicago a couple years ago. Another true or false, the first booktube video was uploaded in 2012. The correct answer is false. My research says that the first booktube video was uploaded in 2010. My apologies if it's not correct, but the internet told me 2010, so I'm sticking with that. If anyone knows differently, please let me know in the comments. Whoa, I oh, lost my shit. I got it right. Actually, Congrats. It was actually uploaded in 2010. That's what I thought. I thought it was 2010, 2011. Oh my god. That's oh, what I got shit. on Google, so I'm so that is correct. <laughs> Man, 
I know, knew the answer. I told you it don't read it hard. Yeah, I didn't know crap about that. No. Next is another term to define, and this is shelfie. Is a shelfie taking a picture of your bookshelf, taking a selfie with your book, taking a selfie while reading, or a type of book account on Instagram? The correct answer is taking a picture of your bookshelf that is a shelfie. I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> oh my god. I know, I knew it right when I clicked it. I was like, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. Unfortunately, Julia is. <gasps> oh, I jumped up. <laughs> the next question is which John Green book has not been adapted? Is it The Fall in Our Stars, Looking for Alaska, An Abundance of Catherines, or A Paper Town? The correct answer is An Abundance of Catherines, but Turtles All the Way Down has also not had an adaptation. Okay, okay. I'm winning. Okay. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. <laughs> is in the lane. <laughs> With seven no. correct answers in a row. Next, who is not a booktuber? Is it Robbie Reeds, Murphy Napier, Scott Kramer, or Books and Lala? If you are on the booktube grind all the time, the correct answer is Scott Kramer. He is actually a commentary YouTuber. Highly recommend him. He's really fun to watch. Oh no. <laughs> True or false, the Reading Rush was formerly called Booktubeathon. And if you got it right, the answer is true. The Reading Rush was called Booktubeathon. Just last summer, it has been rebranded. I'm bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone do that. <laughs> Everyone like, I got you. <laughs> I think this is kind of interesting in a way to see like what people know because yeah. I assume that I hope Edgy McGee gets the wrong answer. <laughs> You're just hoping that I press the wrong Yeah, because that's the thing with Kahoot. I suppose if there were enough questions, you could just be quicker, like, every time. Next, we're getting into the hard ones, and these are fill in the blanks. You have to guess who said this tweet. On October 24th, 2015, which booktuber tweeted, much hula, many hoops, heart emoji, with a bunch of hashtags about hooping? Was it Emma Books, Sarah without an H, Hardback Hoarder, or none of the above? If you got it correct, it is Emma Books. She is a true hoop girl, and she tweeted this on October 24th, 2015. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get this wrong. Oh, I think this is a question. Oh, no. I got it right. I, get it right. Emma Books. I put one. none of the above because I didn't know who I Sarah with a. <laughs> A and A. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't Sarah know the second person. Out so I was just doing Emma books. That's okay. I was like, I just was trying to pull from like whoever I knew that like kind of did like poll and stuff like that. Oh, gotcha. Another multiple choice every year. Which booktuber predicts the Goodreads challenge color? Is it Ariel Passett, Chandler Ainsley, Caleb Joseph, or Chanel Time? The correct answer is Ariel Passet. You might have been able to figure that out from the bad Photoshop job that I did. I tried my best, but it is Ariel, and she is a strong advocate for the Goodreads Challenge color every year. Oh, color. oh I know this. Oh. It I just is knew from indeed the Ariel Passet. I like really this video because it just is quite DK and like it's yeah, animal, yeah it's like math. Really good for math. Really good variety of questions though. I know, I'm liking this. Thank you. Next is another who said it, and all of the who said it questions double your points. On December 19th, 2016, which booktuber tweeted, I want to be in my PJs drinking some hot cocoa right now. Was it read by Zoe, Jesse the Reader, Chapter Kate, or Meg with books? The correct answer is Jesse the Reader. Jesse said cozy time in that tweet, so I do hope that he got his hot chocolate in 2016. Oh, <gasps> my second guess. How did I get that right? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're killing it. <laughs> I, I guessed. Another who said it, which booktuber tweeted, it's way too early for me to be building my list of most anticipated 2020 book releases, and I'm not even sorry. 
Was it Perpetual Pages, Problems of a Book Nerd, Books and Lala, or Books Are My Social Life? If you are a avid user of book Twitter, you will know that Books and Lala tweeted this. She's still like... <laughs> Oh no. Said oh, it again. Let's see. Yes. Yeah. Yay! Why is the edge of my still? I'm <laughs> <laughs> doing great. <laughs> Next, for the remaining questions, these are to fill in the blank, and you are going to be filling in the missing word to the booktube video title. First is from Paperback Dreams, and this is her video. I read the most popular Wattpad book of blank, and it was pretty bad. You just have to give me the year. Was it 2014, 2009, 2004, or 2018? The correct answer is 2018. She read the most popular Wattpad book of 2018, and it was pretty bad. Shit! Oh, yay! I got it wrong. <gasps> well, you're still pretty ahead. Yeah, I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't know how that... Wait, did, did she actually get the answer yeah, wrong? Yeah, I got it wrong. <laughs> yes! I was joking. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no, I'm still... I mean, I'm still basically last, so... Next fill in the blank is for Read with Cindy's video. I read my airplane seatmate's trashy romance book and it was blank. Was it a mistake, a bad idea, a train wreck, or a regret? The correct answer is a mistake. <laughs> Wait, no, that's hard. Oh. <laughs> I was so glad I got that. Like, which one was it? I really love that video, though. I know. I was like, I love Cindy. I should get this, and then I did it. She's so freaking funny. And the final question for BookTube Kahoot trivia is. Which booktuber has been on the YouTube original series, Booktube? And the picture that I provided, it is not the specific one, it's just which booktuber from the multiple choice answers has been on it. And the choices are Jesse from Bowties and Books, Hannah from Snow White Reader, Reagan from Peru's Project, or Chloe from Books with Chloe. The correct answer is Jesse from Bowties and Books, and I will link that video down below. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I was not expecting that. Queen Coco with three. Second place is Julia. And first place is the one and only. <laughs> good job, good job. I hope you guys enjoyed this and congratulations to our winner, Cecilia. Round of applause for her. Definitely congratulate her down below in the comments. You can congratulate her and all of the other participants by subscribing and following them on social media. Let me know in the comments if you would like a live version of this and what your score was if you played along. Thank you all for watching and thank you again to my participants for participating. I hope you're all having a great day. I will see you guys next time. Bye.